Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Artist Room, where today we're taking a look at, here it is here, Arp Bud 2. Yes, from uh, Cam O'Clay, O'Clay, oh, what is that? I can't, I never remember, second, O'K, that's it, uh, from Cam O'K. Um, yeah, so it's a, a MIDI arpeggiator. Very cool, tons of cool stuff. I'll go through exactly how it all works. Hope you are all well and uh, and very, very warm. It's very, very warm, isn't it? It's very, very warm. And because uh, my, my, this this room that I do all this in is upstairs, oh, all the heat rises, oh, I can't have the window open because people, people make noise outside, oh, oh. Anyway, <laughs> I've got this little uh, jam thing. So before we get into the details of the app, I'm going to just quickly explain what's going on. I have a two Synthmaster ones. One Synthmaster one is being played by Wink Arp Bud. And then Riffer is being played by another Synthmaster one. And then Noir is just providing a, a kick drum thing. Looks like it's a bit bright, the screen for you guys as well. So I'll just dim that down a bit. And then we have, uh, no, no, get out of the way, get out of the way. Then we have, no, let's, just let me get out, no. Then we have, uh, well, that's it really. We have a Z on which I'm playing some lead on. And so, yeah, I'm just going to do this jam session thing.
So there you go. So well, we shall break this down. We shall break it down. We shall uh, start from scratch. Right. Okay. So just going to be using for now this ARP board here. And actually what we'll do is we'll start with a, a fresh instance of ARP board. And then I'll take you through the entire app in some detail. So you can see if you can uh, fit it into your workflow. Yes, yes. Uh, let's see. So ARP board, ARP board, doink. There it goes. First thing we want to do, of course, is to get uh, it to be sending its info uh, or receiving its sounds or whatever you want to call it from SynthMaster. So we want to be going to open the toaster on SynthMaster and going to find ARP board one there, like that. And then also what we need to do now is open ARP board here and choose the inbuilt keyboard. Okay, so we can open that. And I'll just clear out those. And I'll leave, if I don't leave the the infinite, uh, you know, the the, the, the the hold switched on, you're not really going get, to get anything happening. So what's going to happen? Let's have a look inside ARP board. There we go. It starts off with uh, eight instances, but you can like, you know, delete instances so you will we'll just do with four for a start off and then i'm going to input four midi notes like this but you'll see at the moment it will press play it runs off the transport you'll see it tracking along like that there's your rate right there then you have swings and then you have some settings and then you can also set up all sorts of different patterns as well so if i just play we've got you see it's on number one if i just play one note From this marvellous sound from uh, Synthmaster 1, which is one of the plucked sounds. But even if I play two notes, or three notes, or four notes, it's still going to be the same. Because you see that little one there? That little one is, in, is indicating the first note played. So what we shall do is I shall just input some notes here. So I'll put a C in. Uh, sorry, well, I'll put it on, in, uh, on hold. I'm going to put a C. And then I'm going to put this, 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 this. And then I'm going to put this. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But we've only got four slots, okay? So whatever we do here, it's only going to be playing four of these notes. So the second note is this F. So if I change this to a two, it's going to be playing that F. And if I change this to a three, it's going to be playing that A. Oh no. Right. Thought we were, had some buffering issues then. And then if I change this to a four, it's going to be playing this C. So let's add another four. And it, it, it'll play those C's again here. The first C. So we're going to get this one to play the E. And then this one to play. And then this one to play number seven, which is this A. And then an octave up. Brilliant, you see? Lovely. But we can swap out the order of what notes we've input, you see. So I could have the first one play for. Well, let's keep this at one for now. Then we have velocity. So. And then octave, so we could say have the first one play an octave higher, or two octaves, or which would be like, let's go, and then let's have this second one play too low, and let's turn the velocity off for that.
Very, very cool. And then we have gate. And then we have one of my favorite features in any sequencer is ratcheting. How cool. And then we can just we, um, go on to random. Now random now will randomize the notes that are played. If we go into settings, it's randomizing the interval. So the notes that have been played, but you can change it to randomize anything. So let's set it to random. Let's turn ratcheting off and let's set the settings here to randomize. The ratchet but not the interval so you can select multiple randomization choices which is also very very cool and let's see what happens now if we go to random So let's take that down. And then the last option we have is probability, which is the probability whether this note will play or not. So you can get kind of some interesting uh, variation. So, and then you could carry on adding stuff. Now, what we can do is go plus, and we've added another pattern. And then at any time now, we can just swap back. So we could add some more, another. We 
this one we could go we could start to make it go up and down up again let's put some ratchets in and then we also have a swing And then if we go to our second pattern, it's just remembering this. So we could add another one and go all the way up to like one, two, three, four. So number four was an octave. And then also number eight was again an octave of C. So now we've got octaves going, but we could ratchet them all. It sounds very cool. Sorry, should be back now. So there you go, guys. Oh, I've got to the tutorial. Got through the tutorial before the before. Is is it back? Is it is it back again? Guys, if it, if it buffers again, I'm going to go. But at least I got through the entire tutorial for, for our bud. And then I was just going to have a, a mess around with uh, some of these. Um, I just wanted to play with some of the... Particularly wanted to have a look at some of these cinematic sounds inside Synthmaster. Um, the Kate Adder ones. Um, 
I was playing with a couple of these earlier. Let's get up in this bit, that's it. <laughs> Some brilliant, like, um, To C ninety two. I don't want to do a link to that. Right, I'll unlink this. I'm gonna. Want, I'm just gonna learn this again. Midi learn. Um, to that. Just midi lane this. Ah, wait a sec. Now I did it for preset, didn't I? Midi lane global. Hi, Daniel. Wow, Russ, everybody, Nino. Look at this. Look at this, lads. Look at this. Joe's new, one of Joe's new gnomes. Look, how cool is that? Do you know how Joe did the beard with a with a, with one of them garlic crushers with a garlic crusher? How cool is that? <laughs> it's Brillo. Wait until you see this. The detail, hand painted, hand painted on the hat. Look at that. Look, look. How fab's that? These are for Christmas. Joe's making Christmas decorations. It's quite weird making Christmas decorations in the, in in the summer. <laughs> They're great, aren't they? Aren't they great? It's done with like Joe's got these like paint um Oh what are they? Joe will tell you in a sec. Um she does them with like it's it's proper paint, but it's like a pen. Great sounds.
these sounds. Be nice if we just have that hold. Sam. Oh, hi, Sam. <laughs> Sonic Train Kid, hi. Such a good sound designer, own proper, like proper top end sound designer. Care to add If you buy Montage or um, Modi X or uh, called Kronos or loads of other stuff. The chances are his patches are in there already. Plus, he does Sam packs for them since as well. Works with Tangerine Dream and everyone. Beans.
So, guys, listen, um, before we, we crack on, before we do the after the show show, <laughs> um, it's nice, isn't it, Sam? It's a lovely sound. Uh, it I, Obviously, I'm, I, I've started to not stream, live stream over the weekend. I probably will be some videos, but it's nice to have a bit of a break. However, on Sunday, and please join with me in wishing Joe a very happy birthday. It's Joe's birthday on Sunday. So happy birthday, darling. I love you lots and lots and lots and lots. Just like jelly tots. Yes, yes. But yes, it's Joe's birthday. Bless her. Yeah. So we're not going to do anything on Joe's birthday, of course. So, yeah. So, um, it's not even listening. Are you listening? Ah, oh, there you go. Yes, she is. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, she's 21 again. <laughs> Thank you, Son Sonic Train Kid. Much appreciated. Oh, 26 watching, 13 likes. Or maybe I'm a bit behind. This is running through I guess it I guess it will say let's have a look shall we let's disconnect this from the internal keyboard let's hook it up to the key lab let's disconnect this from the key lab so we're not hearing so I'm just gonna so I've got to press play so so I'm playing a D shift the octave here somewhere so it's got a plus three let's just drop 
that down to nothing. Yeah, so it does say whatever notes I'm, I'm playing on the uh, keyboard, it will be relative to what the arpeggio is. So the arpeggiator is not reading its own note data. Data! Data! Make it so. Data, Mr. D yeah, it sounds lovely, doesn't it? That does. Glad you brought that up, Sai. Thanks. Never had this kind of nonsense at the RSC. Data! Far more! of what that actually is doing and sure. better right so if I'm like kind of we go and I'll just drag this in here so yeah fab and <laughs> really like that it's really good okay so let's see let's see um after the show show i think ming colin might have another track we have finished i think did we finish was it which let's have a look here shall we let's have a look inside uh cubasis let's see what's going on dee 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 um, that's one I've just sent, so that's not. Did you get them other tracks, by the way, Colin? Yeah, I think it was Horizons. Uh, and I think probably because of all the trouble we had with that, uh, it might just be a mix down. Horizons. Yeah, Horizons. Vision 2. I think it was this. Yeah, might have been this. Oh, is this pre? Yeah, I think it was this one. So this is um, another another track from the forthcoming. Did did you get was did you get the picture? Was the picture all right? I mean, you don't have to have the picture. Like, <laughs> I just thought it was a good idea. Just thought it was a good idea for the cinematica thing. Um, so this is um, Horizons of Tomorrow. Not nothing to do with what's going on here. With Collins parts added.
It's like Ant and Zek, Doug and Colin. mixed it's just that you're not really getting it because it's not in stereo it hasn't been mastered yet so that'll seat everything as well but i, I wanted to leave the guitars at a kind of a started playing now um at, 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 a, at a good level for the solo bits as i really like them it's really cool so right, 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 right. oh so have a listen to it let's have a listen to another couple eh, shall we run it so these are kind of mixed down these are finished Except they haven't been mastered. Um, so, yeah. So while we've got another few minutes, we might as well play another. You pick one, Colin. You pick one. Which one do you want to wear? Stupid iPad. Nope. I bring it and Stephen goes, Ope, Rustic, and then corrects himself to Ope again. <laughs> pick a track, Col. Pick, pick a track. Col, he doesn't like that. Colin, sorry. <laughs> Uh, shifting the balance. Shifting the balance. Shifting the balance. Radio. This is shifting the balance. It's good, isn't it? Thank you. 
So yeah, that is shifting the balance. I can also try and get in touch with him via uh, Patreon. You can try Patreon, Joe. Get messages and just message him. Try there because I've spoke to him lots on Patreon, but not, not like for a while. Obviously, it's, it's all a bit worrying, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Oh, don't want to mix that down again, do I? Dickhead. Dickhead. Uh, so if I go back to my projects now, I sent this one. So I can play you one that I've sent to Colin. There we go. In here. I can play one I've sent to Colin, but it's not, it's not had Colin's parts yet. So I, it's not mixed with Colin's parts or mastered or anything. But this one is called The Terror. The Terror is Coming. Yes. So this is one that hasn't had Colin's bits added, but he has he has everything now. So uh, yeah, but like again, it, the mastering makes all the difference uh, to everything in the end.
Yeah, so that's going. That's well. Colin's got that now. That amazing brass is from Hallian Six uh, in Cubase. Um, it's. I don't even know Hallian has got all these different instruments in it, and that's. I think is Pad Shop. Uh, not Pad Shop. That's another synth altogether, isn't it? Um, Skylab. It's, it's an instrument called Skylab. And it's got like a big cinematic brass section with about five different, five or six different patches. And they're just, in, just incredible. Just incredibly well sampled brass uh, with this in, amazing reverb. Uh, it's like one patch that was like, I think it was maybe cinematic brass, but it's just stunning. Stunning, st stunning brass patches. Stunning everything in Halley and it's really good. Right. When Cubase has sent me a uh, Cubase, when Steinberg sent me uh, Cubase and Halion, it, it, com it comes with a basic version of Halion. Cubase's Pro comes with a Halion Sonic 3 SE, which is a basic version of Halion. And then they said, Do you want the Halion 6? Um, or ha do you want Halion 3, the full version, or Halion 6? And so I don't know what the difference is, you know. And they said Hallian 6 has, like, got a... It's a sampler now. It's as well... Like you can sam make your own instruments and stuff. But I don't really do that. But they sent me that anyway. But it's because it's got all the stuff uh, to demo for, for the ordinary Hallian anyway. But uh, the, the, the orchestral sounds and stuff like that are just, just phenomenally good. Anyway, I'll tell you what I am going to do over the weekend at some point. Is do a quick video for... Uh, there's a new Labs, uh, you know, any of us who use Labs, I think some of us do here. Um, labs has just got its new piano pads. And if any of you follow Spitfire Audio's incredibly brilliant uh, YouTube channel, where they go around and visit all these different brilliant world-class composers, and they, it's a tour of their studios. And then also you should follow Christian Henson. Christian Henson is one of the co-owners of... Um, Spitfire, and uh, he has his own channel, well, which is just mind-bogglingly interesting. If if you like synths and orchestral composition and stuff like that, really good. So you definitely follow Spitfire Audio's YouTube channel because they have all these very cool interviews with loads of cool studio tours and stuff like that, and also Christian Henson's uh, YouTube channel as well. Uh, which is really good and all. Anyway, guys, listen, I'm going to let you say ta to each other, uh, as always, and I will see you on a live stream. Next live stream will be Monday evening, all been well, of course, but, uh, yeah, hopefully Monday evening. But I, I I really want to do my favourite patches. I've got uh, 256 of my favourite patches I've curated and adjusted from uh, the internet, from maybe from Arturia for the Matrix Brute, but some of these patches are just mind-bogglingly good fun. Anyway, that's what I want to do at some point next week. Um, I just need to get Joe and work out how to get the camera angle better for just so I don't have to move, because I can't move the thing. It's too heavy. Anyway, listen, yes, thanks for wishing Joe a happy birthday. I'm sure we'll have a nice day. Um, there will be videos, like I said, over the weekend, I guess. Um, maybe. You never knew. Uh, but ordinary ones but live streams only have a couple of evenings off and then Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Fridays are live stream nights and yes, brilliant guys, bless you all for watching and, and, and checking out uh, Step uh, sorry, not Step but this is the other one isn't it? Art Bud 2 which is very nice as well anyway uh, well, yeah, but it's pretty useful I, I, I know that you will not buy an app unless you're 100% sure that you're going to use it so um, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Anyway, listen, guys, I'll let you say to each other, ciao!